Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, as you may be able to tell from my voice, I'm extremely sick at the moment so I can't speak very loud either. Uh, I haven't really been able to ride all day. I tried to ride at my local park. I got like a little Insta clip, but I just really was not well enough to actually go out and make some sort of exciting video for you guys uh, or like really go kind of mob in the streets or anything too exciting. Uh, and I was already sick yesterday and then I rode last night if you watched uh, yesterday's vlog like you should have. And I went riding last night and that was definitely a bad decision because it was pretty cold um, and it just like staying out late at night like was not a good decision. It took me like two hours to get home as well and I just woke up. I woke up so ridiculously sick that um, I decided today I'm just going to film a kind of speak into the camera video and I know I've been doing a lot of these lately but um, after this video tomorrow I'm going to be back up on my feet getting all those excited videos out that you guys love like hill bombs, mobbing the streets with the homies, just finding crazy spots, you know messing with you know security guard and cops like you guys love all those videos and they're the videos that I'm going to be bringing you guys. I just wanted to let you know before I set up the camera and start speaking and you think oh this is like a boring speaking video that this will be like the last video where I kind of just speak and uh, tell you guys kind of stories like I have been lately but uh, after today I'll be back up mobbing the streets. I should probably go to Kmart and buy myself like a friggin' um, like a camp. Oh my god! Jeez, that nearly just broke my goddamn camera. What I was saying was if I'm gonna keep filming these like speaking videos in the future and stuff, or when I do film one, I should really buy myself like a camping seat or like a camping chair or something, because I hate sitting on goddamn trolleys, because there's like grooves in the trolley and it's uneven. Anyway, I should probably stop complaining now and get straight to the point. So today is going to be a full uh, kind of speaking video. And by the way, full restock in about uh, two days from now on, which is going to be freaking sick. It'll be up on my website, jackedout.com. Anyway, to the video. I'm going to be uh, covering the topic why I road park and then switched to street riding. Why I originally, well, why I chose street riding over park riding. I'm going to give you kind of a little background story on like my park riding career. I'm not going to go too early into my park riding stuff because that's kind of boring. But I'm going to tell you kind of how I made the transition and how I kind of stuck to street riding because uh, this is honestly a question and a topic that I get asked about all the time. And I'm not surprised. There's a lot of like kind of controversy between street riding and park riding. So I started riding scooters in 2011. I was 11 or 12 years old. I rode park only. Like park is all I wanted to ride. And I was just as keen to ride scooters as I was as I am now, as I was back then, like I was keen to get good at park riding. Um, I could, if everyone that asks me, yes, I can kickless, I could rifle, I could buttercup, I could like whip front scooter, I could do all those park tricks, like not all of them obviously, like I did stop park riding after about two years, uh, which kind of, you know, cut straight to the point. So it was around uh, 2012, which was when like I had this huge squad of riders uh, at my local park, Chatswood, we had Tom Quillen, Jack McCann, Dion, Tetz, his brother, James, Eric, we had like probably 10 plus people and back then none of us had Facebook or Instagram but it was just like natural that we'd all rock up at Chatswood Skate Park at like 10 a.m. on the weekend mornings. Like we didn't even have to speak about it or organize it. We just knew to get there. That's how like tight we all were. Like we all just wanted to ride and you know each of us had our YouTube channels. I didn't have one back then but a couple of my mates did and um, all we wanted to do was just ride and film videos and have fun and like yeah we just all wanted to improve and we learnt tricks with each other and you know we had games of scoot with each other all the time and it was just fun like just learning tricks with each other you know like and we were all kind of at the same level of riding roughly so we could all kind of you know try specific tricks with each other and um yeah, it was just all around a good time flash forward like a year 2012 to around early 2013 around that time everyone kind of started to get a little bit lazy um and everyone kind of stopped kind of riding and got interested in other activities and i remember one day there was this Asian dude who, yeah, there was this Asian dude who owned a house like a couple of blocks down from my local park and he, like I don't even know the full story, this is actually kind of like a side story, it's actually pretty funny. He was, uh, this is kind of how everyone started getting lazy, like straight up, this is like a legit story. This Asian guy was driving past the skate park with two mattresses, like two bed mattresses on his roof of the car, like, like on the roof of his car tied up and then he like pulled up to the skate park and he's like, Hey, 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 do you guys want mattress? Do you guys want mattress? And we were like, okay. So he dumped the two mattresses at the skate park and he's like, I'll bring more, I'll bring more. And I think he went to like, like dispose of them like thoughtfully and like actually throw them out at like a dumping place. But when he heard that we were like interested in mattresses, he went back home and just kept getting more and more mattresses to a point where there were 21 mattresses in the skate park and we made like our own artificial foam pits and stuff. And then each of us chose a mattress and from then on like the mattresses were at the skate park for like weeks and each of us had a mattress, like a specific mattress which was ours. And we'd just like chill on them and eat on them and drink on them every time we came to the skate park and we'd like slowly kind of stop riding and kind of like slowly lose interest in riding. Although me and Jack McCann never really kind of lost interest. Jack McCann's like the only person who I rode with back then that still rides today. Me and him were kind of like both still keen to ride and um, obviously like our whole squad, like you know 10, 15, maybe even 20 of us were all riding park back then. And then one of them, I can't remember who it was, but one of them quit riding for something else and then another one followed. 
then the crew was kind of like slowly breaking away a few others like kind of you know disappeared a few others left a few others left and then like it ended up only being like three other people uh, left park riding and to me that was so boring like eventually they all kind of left and then by the time there were only like two or three people left who were kind of just riding on their own it was super boring i couldn't learn tricks with people i couldn't have you know as much fun as i was having with park riding it was just kind of like what is happening like this was something that i've been doing for like two years straight now everyone's kind of quit like like my scooter mates are like you know some of the only mates i have and some of like my best mates i have so it was kind of like devastating it was like damn like do I kind of quit as well? Like, I wasn't sure because I was so keen to keep riding. I needed to find something that would keep me motivated. You know, I needed to find something that would keep me interested and keen to, you know, wake up and ride my scooter every day. And um, that's when I thought of street riding. I thought, why don't I try and learn grinding rails and learn grinding ledges? And I was okay. Like, I could broadside rails and feeble and smith ledges. But I was nowhere near, as, you know, for example, as good as I am, you know, today, obviously. Um, and I thought, you know, I think the only way to stay interested and to stay keen and motivated is to try something new. I would just come to the skate park every day and it was like I was starting a whole new sport. Street riding and park riding, like, like when I went from park and started riding street, obviously I had a lot of experience on a scooter and I had like, you know, a lot of muscle memory with specific tricks. That's how I kind of, you know, progressed at street riding faster than, you know, most people would if they started street riding from the start and never really rode park before. But I kind of feel like everyone, you know, starts off riding park. And slowly the transition was made and I can't really remember exactly when I started, like, you know, when I decided to start riding street because it was kind of like a slow transition. I remember I did start riding street on my NV deck, you know, before I got my French ID deck. Actually, yes, it was 2012. The end of 2012 was when the Proto Armageddon DVD came out. Yes, this is when I first got inspired. So this was first when like all my mates were getting kind of lazy and the Proto Armageddon DVD came out, which was the Proto DVD that Proto Scooters released in 2012 and Scooter Hut, which was in Chatswood. There was like, there used to be a Scooter Hut up the road from Scooter Hut. They premiered the DVD. And I remember I went to watch that and Jackson Manzi was there who like I looked up to so much at the time. And um, just after watching that DVD and, you know, speaking to a lot of those dudes and uh, getting a French ID deck I was like boom I want to start riding street I remember I made this uh, video I'll show you a couple of the clips right now if the video is still up if it's not then you're not gonna be watching clips right now I learned like front people 540s learned how to ride quarters a lot better like you know technical stuff on the coping I learned how to ride rails a lot better and uh, that raw edit was probably a couple of months after I started riding street I was just like so into it like it was a whole new sport that was when Jack McCann who was pretty much the only park rider left slowly started riding street as well because you know me and him were like the only chats with locals left and I was like, dude, like, please come ride street. Like, I need someone to ride street with. So, um, he started. And then that raw video that I released uh, actually got noticed by Jackson Manzi himself, who was uh, looking for new team riders for Scooter Hut, new Sydney team riders. He saw that video and said, hey, I looked at that video. It was sick. We're actually looking for team riders. Would you like to ride for Scooter Hut? So that all worked out super smooth. And then I needed to film a Scooter Hut video. And that was, you know, shortly um, after Jack McCann started riding street. And Jack McCann was like a pretty good videographer. He had like a Canon 60D. He had like the good camera. And me and him would just go out street riding every day. And we would just film each other clips at the same spots. And that's when I filmed my Welcome to Scooter Hut video, my first ever Scooter Hut video. And uh, yeah, I guess that is how I kind of started riding street. Um, you know, everyone kind of got lazy. I wanted to stay motivated and stay keen and stay inspired. I thought I need to try something new. If you ever get bored with something, try something new. Figure out why you aren't enjoying it. I wasn't enjoying it because park riding was, you know, like, you know, they were kind of creating this vibe that it was boring. You know, they all quit. And it wasn't really that they all quit park riding, that I stopped park riding. It was that they kind of made the impression park riding was boring. You know, they all quit. Quick flashback, before Jack McCann started street riding, that mate from school, there were actually two mates from school, um, we made like a little raw video together as well. It was called, um, I don't want to swear in my video because it'll probably get deleted, but F-U-C-K Scootering, F Scootering, that's what it was called. So we made that video and Josh Young, who was sponsored by Tilt at the time, he noticed the video and he posted it on his website called Lit Scooters. And we were like, oh my God, like big street riders are starting to, you know, notice our videos. And I was like, like, how did he find the video? Like we, like, we were just so hyped. And yeah, we just thought like, you know, these like big names are starting to notice us riding street, you know, like, let's just keep at it. Let's stick at it. Um, Slowly all my schoolmates quit riding and yeah, that's when kind of McCann started riding. So yeah, that video that, like, you know, that other video I filmed with my schoolmate was before McCann started riding. So that was, that story was kind of muddled up. But um, so I guess inspiration from DVDs and big names in the street riding scene, noticing our videos really, really, really got me kind of keen to pursue it. I'm going to detach the camera, which nearly fell off before and I'm super sick. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. I guess this wasn't much of a vlog, but I guess I kind of did sit down and uh, speak to the camera and it was still probably pretty interesting. A lot of you guys asked me why I chose street riding. And I find when you rock up to a skate park to ride, you're in this kind of like enclosed area and you can see what you've got to ride. You've got a bowl, you've got a spine, you've got a fly out, you've got a gap. You might have like a little handrail or something, but um, I kind of feel like if you ride street, the options are unlimited. The spots never end and they literally never do. Like, like there's only a certain amount of skate parks within Australia, for example, but the spots never end. The spots never stop, you know, 
been found. You know, it just it just never ends. I find street riding so much more, uh, you know, inspiring to watch, more fun to do. Let me know what your thoughts are down below because there are a lot of kind of mixed opinions, you know, mixed feelings on the whole street versus park thing. And uh, I'm walking around in circles, which means I'm kind of bored. So I'm going to wrap up this video here before it gets way too boring and before I start blabbing on about something way off topic. But tomorrow I'll be back on my feet, back keen. I'll cure my sickness overnight. I'll just drink heaps of water and skull pan it all. Full restock in all the shirts next Monday or Tuesday, which is about two days from when this video is going to be uploaded. So have a great weekend, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all of my daily videos that I'm making. Remember, every single day on the channel at 5.30pm. That is when I'll see you next, guys. Thanks for watching.